don't like it. It's, it's no, no numbers. There's no pictures. There's no videos. There's no, no gameplay. I, I don't like it. I don't like it. Yo, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope everyone's having a good day so far. Today, Freemers, we have some new patch notes from Singularity 6 on Palia. I am very excited to read this because, well, you know, we get something pretty cool. And it's not just, um, you know, what they've promised. There's a surprise in here. So, why don't we go ahead and take a look? So, oh, yes, I, I've shrunken. You'll never see me now. So, patch 0 0.170 notes. Uh, Tis the season. Look at this. That's fancy. That's a little bit fancy, ain't it? What's a patch without some pumpkins? Because that's what we have in store for this one. We invite Pallians all around to come and enjoy the festivities we put together. This pumpkin patch also brings some big requests from the community and major bug fixes, so read on below to see what we have. At a glance, get in the spirit with the new spooky moon set. A certain miner's heart is now available for romancing. Test your traversal skills with the all-new obstacle course. Coordinate with other players using the all-new flare arrows and nearby chat. Sort through your workbench recipes with even more filter options. New premium outfits. Three new premium outfits have been added to the store. So it seems like it's this one, that one, and this one. And I'm gonna be I'm gonna keep it a buck. I'm probably not gonna get them because I haven't seen a design I've liked yet, other than the one I've bought, you know? Um so I don't know. We'll see. Maybe this one, but I don't know. I don't know. Uh, so I'm not going to go over those, but new features and quality of life additions. Pumpkins have suddenly appeared all throughout Kalima Village. We will be exploring, well, not exploring the pumpkins, but some of this patch will be, we will be exploring. Um, what is this mysterious register? Like all the pumpkins around Kalima, a mysterious cash register has appeared selling rather ghastly goods for gold. So what's interesting... Uh, in the community, in the Discord for Palia, we were all wondering if there were going to be events, like, for holidays, and this is kind of that, but not really. It's more like they're acknowledging the holiday, they're not doing an event for it. I think, from just from this, I don't think we're going to get holiday events for Palia. I think we're going to get updates towards, like, a holiday, and it'll be an acknowledgement of that holiday. Kind of like how, you know, we, um, you know... Certain holidays nowadays in 2023, they were just like, oh, we got to respect the holiday. You know, we're, we're, I forget what the word is. You know, there's a word for that. It's like, um, it's acknowledge it or we're, um, I don't remember the, the word for it, but you know what I mean? Like they're, you know, they're acknowledging the holiday exists. They're not doing a full on event for it because I think Singularity 6 wants to do events that are specific to Palia, not specific to real life, you know? But anyway, uh, you can find the register in the fountain area behind Jell's shop. The following nine decor pieces are available. Spooky pumpkin, a lot of pumpkins. Anyway, <laughs> but I'm probably going to be getting all that stuff. Um, it's the romance you've all been mining for, Ho Dari. So they have not, they teased this back when they were first showing off Palia. They were like, hot Dari. And I was like, are we going to be able to romance him? And nothing's been, you know, said yet. But now we have a romance option, which is really cool. Very exciting. I'm probably not going to romance Hidari. I, I got the hots for Kenyatta. You guys already know this. Me and Kenyatta for life, baby. That's how it rolls. But Hodari is pretty hot. Not going to lie. You know, if I wasn't straight, Hodari for life. You know, hot Dari for life. We're thrilled to announce Hodari's romance quest line is now available. That's right. Your favorite sad dad is officially romance shaped. As soon as we got the concept art of him, we knew he was going to be romanceable, and we can neither confirm nor deny that he was inspired by other single dads from across the galaxy. That's a reference to, um, I believe the dating dad simulator, whatever it's called. I forgot what that game's called, but that's, that's a reference, and they were trying to, they had an inspiration for that, so that's cool. Um, S6 Vega, senior narrative designer, cool. Some quick notes to open Hadari's romance options. Make sure you've completed the final quest for temp the Temple of the Waves, Echoes of the Unknown, and you must complete Najuma's level four friendship quest because he's a good dad. True. So that's interesting. You, there's additional steps to getting to romance Hadari. That's wild. Um, note for you Sifu fans, we know how much you love Sifu, and we want to, we want you to know we hear you. Sifu is complicated for lore reasons, so we beg your patience. Thank you. So. People want to romance Sifu? 
I don't know about that. See, there, it is complicated for lore reasons because Sifu is friends with two other people, and he's like a Sherpa for Kenya. Oh no, not Kenyatta. For he's a sh he, not a Sherpa. What's the a Shep? He's a Shep for someone in the village, and I forget who. I think it's Kenyatta. It's someone in the village, but they're. It's complicated for lore reasons, I think, because he's got so many ties to so many different people. I don't see a point in romancing him. I don't know why people want to. That's interesting, but I get it. You know, he's a handsome man. You know, he's got a cool beard, but I don't see the point when, you know, he, he's he got ties to other people. And I feel like adding on ro romance to that might not work out, but it seems like they're going to do it. And I'm like, okay, all right. Do what you want to do, but I, I'm, I disagree with it, personally. Uh, check out the all-new obstacle course. Jump, climb, and glide your way across a special dreamlike space that was made using several objects found throughout Palia. There may be treasure chests with Zeki coins and some found letters scattered throughout the course. Lore? But otherwise, this feature is meant to just be a fun opportunity. Cool, so there's Zeki coins. So there are rewards to this. Little rewards, but cool rewards. You can access the obstacle course by interacting with a specific arcade machine found in the black market. Cool. Which one is it? Uh, this one? Okay. So I'll probably be showing this off to you guys, probably do a video around it, just because it's fun. Um, uh, if I don't do a video on it, uh, I will probably just uh, do it on stream and I'll read the lore for you guys, but very cool. We also want to be clear that the obstacle course is definitely an experiment we're trying out. It's our first attempt on how we want to approach different ways people can play in Palia, and there's lots of room for us to improve and iterate over time. The obstacle course was designed to be bonus content, so there's no pressure to complete it, and you won't miss out on any big items. For those of you looking for a challenge or our lover platforms and jump puzzles, though, we look forward to hearing feedback from you. So here's the thing, right? This obstacle course is basically, you know, it's something a lot of people in Free Realms did. They made obstacle courses in their lots, and I think that's super sick. And the fact that they're doing an obstacle course means they hear, you know, they recognize that Free Realms players did enjoy that and they want to kind of add on to that. That's super cool, dude. Like, I'm going to see so many references like that remind me of Free Realms and I think it's just going to be, it's it's going to be me, you know, showing my love for this game, but also, you know, hopefully getting you guys to play Palia because if you're not playing Palia, I don't know what you're doing. Play this game, bro. Play it. More of the Valley Sunrise set. <laughs> sunrise. <laughs> More like Sunset. Am I right? Um, anyway, uh, Sunrise set has been added to Zeki's Wondrous Machine. Cool. Um, four items have been added. Cool. Uh, need a more focused conversation than just those around you and not the whole map? Nearby chat is here. No, we previously called this proximity chat in our September dev update, but decided to go for a cozier term for the feature. This is a new tab in the current chat menu that allows you to send messages just to those around you, and we think it'll be useful for those trying to coordinate group activities such as chopping blow trees and coordinate cooking parties. You can also type out slash say and slash nearby toggle the chat on. Find friends and call locations on the map using flare arrows. That's cool. I think people have already been doing that, though. Like, they've been using a firework to do it, but that's cool. Um, okay. Oh, alphabet. Ooh, that's nice. Um, you can now open, close various bookshelves and cabinets. They really, people really want those features. I don't understand it personally because I'm not in my house that often, but I get it. You know, if people are really wanting that stuff, sure. Crafters now support the canceling of recipes. Good. That's awesome. Wait, you can make seeds? I didn't know that. I don't have a seed maker, though, so that's probably why. I don't know why I don't have a seed maker. Interesting. Um, okay. Adjustments. Fireplate. No longer count towards the building add-on limit. Okay. Default cast beef fishing has been reverted to be faster? <gasps> Ooh, I like that. But you can now adjust the option in the settings menu to fit your preferences. Cool. And then FAQ. Um, do I want to read any of this? Can you tell us who is next? People want it to be Sifu. That said, we don't have a timeline if we can give it the month for who or when the next romance option will be. So Sifu probably won't be next. I don't think. I don't think Sifu should be a romance option. I don't understand it. Like, you really got to get into the lore of Pallia to understand why he can't be romanceable. I think because, like, um, I, I, I think it was... I don't remember their names, um, but the innkeeper um, and the blacksmith. Sifu has ties with them because they were like monster hunters back in the day, or they're good friends. 
and then you know Sifu's also a chef for someone like I've mentioned in this video so I don't see the point for it but it's interesting um, something wondrous why it took a bit of time for Odari's romance quest to even be added when it comes to older romance options there's a lot of considerations involved that aren't as present for young love we wanted to pay respect to the experience and challenges that can come with older romance especially for single parents we are looking forward to seeing all the reactions for those who romance Odari which will of course require getting closer to Najuma I've already romanced a villager did you know you can romance all of the villagers oh that's that's called cheating that's you're you're cheating on your on your partner that's cheating Singularity six, what are you enforcing? What, what is going on? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. Um, can I romance my Shep? Yep, we see a lot of people figure this out with Ref. You can romance your Sheps. I'm not doing that. Um, are there plans to make pumpkins be a crop and not just a core? Makes a lot of sense. We'll have to see due to how gardening works. We have to be mindful of introducing new crops and how that impacts existing strategies. And due to how cooking works, we want to be especially mindful of making sure any recipes we introduce are balanced. Looks at celebration cake. Um, let's see here. I hope. Uh, I feel like I hit the renown cap rather fast with nothing spent on. Are there any plans to address this? Okay, they'll address that soon. And then bug fixes, top known issues, expand no issues. Dude, I feel like I'm reading, like, a new version of Bungie's TWAB for Destiny, except, you know, they changed it to TWID, which sounds stupid. But anyway, um, I love reading these, dude. It's a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoy me reading these and going through all this, all the patch notes. This is cool. So we're going to check out some of this stuff. I don't know if I'm doing the obstacle course on video. I might, just to show you guys how it works. Uh, but I'll also do it on stream. I'll also be reading the lore from the obstacle course. But that's probably the only thing of the content I'm going to be looking into doing all this stuff because this looks crazy. It looks wild, dude. And probably going to be getting the pumpkins, obviously. But uh, yeah, October's going to be a good month for Palia. So that's going to be the video for today. Thank you guys for watching. If you did, as always, I appreciate it a ton. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.